What's up everyone? Today's video, I am going to be trying a chapter in all of the books that I still currently own. So I do um, what is called a reading to zero challenge. I created this almost exactly a year ago where I have been reading every single book that I own and trying really not to like haul books or get new books. I only have about 40 books or less. Um, I put my actual May TBR back in here because I thought why not just do all of them together and if some of the TBR books that I have for May, I don't really love the chapter, they're going, they're all going. So how Try a Chapter works is you read the first chapter of a book and then from that chapter you decide if you wanted to read that currently right now, if you like it. I'm doing mine where if I don't really love the first chapter, then I'm gonna unhaul it. You know what, let's just go ahead. We're gonna start with The Empty Nest by Sue Watson. So I'm going to read the first chapter of this. Doesn't seem too long. I'll get back to you in just a second. So I read the first chapter of The Empty Nest and I'm actually gonna keep this book. I think it would be a pretty good read. So far, the first chapter was about um, this mom and her daughter is 18 and went away to college. And so it's about this mom reminiscing about just like how much she misses her daughter and like, you know, she she's a co black coffee drinker, but she made mint tea because that's what her daughter drank. And so, you know, it's, it's a lot of like memories of like taste and smell and like she can't play um, the same music that they used to listen to. I think I really like it because it seems like the mother and the daughter have a really great relationship and that's what I'm, even though it's like really sad because she's like so sad that her daughter, like she's an empty nester, obviously empty nest. But I'm hoping that I have that relationship with my children. Um, I'm hoping I feel those same feelings. So I think I'm gonna keep this one because it did seem really easy to read and I liked the story that I read. Okay, next up, we're going to do the first chapter of Before and After. This is a end of the world um, apocalyptic, but also like weight loss book. I think it's about this guy that's like, yeah, 610 pounds. And um, I think there's like zombies or something. I don't know. We're gonna just try it out. Let's see. This book I am unhauling. Number one, the, um, the first chapter was kind of long and I, couldn't even hardly make it through. I was like skim reading because this has a ton of description. The first chapter was literally just so much description of them putting this guy like and lowering him with a crane like from his apartment that he's been in for nine years and nothing exciting happened in that first chapter. Like I thought it was gonna be like, oh, here's a zombie outbreak or like something like that while they're trying to like lower him down. So this is an unhaul for me. Okay, next up, A Beautiful Terrible Thing. This is a memoir. So I'm hoping that I enjoy it, but we'll see how it goes. I had to put on a uh, cardigan because I am cold. It's like 40 degrees out today and it's been hot. So I'm not even going to read the whole first chapter of this book because I'm already sold on keeping it. There's a note from the author in the beginning and it says, this is my personal lived experience. Psychopath and sociopath are terms commonly used for someone on the spectrum of antisocial personality disorders. While I made several discoveries based on my intimate experience and observations, I am not a mental health professional and this is not a clinical diagnosis of psychopath psychopathy. And then here, there's like a little um, like beginning section and it says the air pulses. As I'm staring at the computer, the computer I share with my husband holding our screaming three week old baby on my lap, my stomach tightens. I read the first line of the email and bile begins to rise into my throat. I try to take a breath, but I can't get any air. I have to breathe. I have to make this baby stop screaming. What I'm seeing must have a logical explanation. It must be a misunderstanding. As soon as I can talk to my husband, he will explain and everything will be okay. This is not an emergency yet. If I can just hear his voice, I will be able to breathe again. Balancing the baby in one arm, I reach for my cell phone with the other, unconsciously balancing my knees to soothe my daughter's screams. And then it starts with like a before. So there's like a before and after. I'm definitely keeping this. That sounds amazing. Okay, next up we have Before the Fall. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read this um, first chapter. Let's see how long it is. Ooh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
that's not even the first. There's a chapter one right here. There's like a one right there. But all of this is like, I don't know, a beginning section. So I guess I'll read that. Okay, I don't care about this book. First chapter, didn't care about it. Seems very, very boring. Um, wasn't even about the airplane yet. So this is going in the unhaul. Next up, we have The Chosen One. This is actually, I think it's a young adult, but I think it's a polygamy cult book. 13 year old Kyra or Kira has grown up in an isolated community without questioning the fact that her father has three wives and she has 20 brothers and sisters. So gonna read the first chapter of this one. I probably will like this, um, but I have recently read a lot of young adult polygamy books. So if it seems too similar to the ones that I've already read, I might just go ahead and unhaul it. All right, as you can see, I have moved again. Um, I read 10 pages of The Chosen One. There's actually no chapters in this book, which is kind of annoying, but I also don't like the writing style and it is very similar to the other two YA books I've already read. So I am also going to unhaul this um, because it's literally like spit an image of the other two I've already read. Next up, I'm going to be reading The Quiet Ones by Brandon Massey. Um, this is gonna be pretty interesting because I'm not sure what it's about, honestly. So let's go ahead and dive in and see. So I read actually not even chapter one. There was like a beginning part and then it's chapter one. So I just read the beginning part, which was like eight pages. Definitely keeping this. Um, this is about two sisters, Mallory and Liz, and their mom, I guess is like kind of like a prostitute of some sort, um, but she has like boyfriends come over in exchange for money. But the girls are 10 and 12 years old. And the one guy that came over, um, the oldest, like the 12 year old even said that like, oh, she's let him touch her before for money because she's doing exactly what her mom does. And at the end of that first part, we find out that that ex-boyfriend like kills their mom like he chokes her because she uh had like another rich guy that she was like you know doing money and acts for um and didn't want to do for this current guy so this sounds really really intriguing it definitely kept my attention so i'm definitely keeping this one next up i'm gonna read the first chapter of no bad deed i believe this is like a detective cop murder mystery kind of thriller so I just already feel like I'm gonna unhaul it because I've had it for so long and I keep not picking it up, but we'll give the first chapter a try. Okay, I take back what I said about No Bad Deed. I'm actually going to keep it. The first chapter was pretty thrilling. It's about this lady that is driving, I think to the hospital, because I think she works at the hospital and she spills her energy drink. So she like pulls over on the side of the road to clean that up and in front of her, is um, a guy and a girl fighting. Like the guy is abusing the girl and he like throws her down off like part of the cliff. And so the lady actually calls 911, but then she gets out of the car and this guy like sees her and comes up to her and he's like, you better not save this girl or like I'm gonna come after you and like kill you. And he like got all her information, like her purse and stuff like that. So like he knows where she lives. And so that seemed like a pretty good first chapter in my opinion, keeping this one. Okay, next up I have Nicholas Sparks, The Best of Me. Honestly, I kind of just want to unhaul this and not even read the first chapter, but I guess I'll still try it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm on page three and I am already bored, so unhaul. All right, I'm gonna look through this Bible study really quick and see if I wanna still keep it. Um, and then if not, I'm also going to unhaul. This says, in his image, 10 ways God calls us to reflect his character. But I really only like Bible studies where I'm actually going to learn something and they have questions. Um, if they're just like a book, I usually don't like them that much. I am going to keep this. I looked through it and it looks like it has a few pages of reading and then it goes into questions. Um, but I might take this off my actual reading to zero shelf and just have it as my Bible study um, because currently right now, the one that I'm working on, I think it's gonna take eight weeks. So I won't be able to get to this one for about eight weeks, but I don't think I'm going to put it back into my reading to zero number. 
Okay, next up, we're gonna try Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay. Um, I am not sure, oh, sorry, Disappearance at Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay. I'm not sure um, really what this is about, and I have liked, like I've loved one of Paul Tremblay's books, and I thought another one was okay, and then I didn't like another one, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see what this is about. This is gonna be an unhaul. <laughs> I've literally been doing everything else except reading this book because I didn't care about the first two pages I read. So I'm going to unhaul this one. I think I should do a few more and then I'll probably take a break for today because I don't want to just get like tired of doing this. So the next one is going to be Date Night by Samantha Hayes. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this first chapter and see if this is a keeper. Date Night is going to be an unhaul. This is about a mom who is being, um, framed i guess for killing her babysitter um but the first chapter like i read the prologue and the chapter it just didn't seem fast paced enough for me i was kind of just bored and just kind of doesn't seem like it's going to be bringing anything new to the table so going to unhaul this you would like unhauls and stuff is most of the time i would be able to get those books back at the library in the future so if i do ever change my mind and like maybe people want me to read it in the future i can always go back and get it but for right now I definitely do not want to read these books. Okay, I'm gonna do one more because then that makes me um, halfway through my pile. I still have this huge pile right here. Um, so I'm going to read first chapter of A Fractured Mine, My Life with Multiple Personality Disorder. So I'm hoping that I like this one, but I'm also afraid that it could be too like heavy and dense and I won't like it. Okay, so, so far, I'm only on page two, and I don't even think I'm gonna read more because I like it. Um, it says, my name is Robert, and I'm one of 11 personalities whom you'll meet in this book. At one time or another, all 11 personalities revealed themselves as part of one human being, officially called Robert Bromley Oxnum. So, I'm really excited. It seems to be um, pretty easy reading, and I can't wait to read about all of the different personalities. Oh yeah, like they have titles of like Bob. So like, I'm gonna get to read about all of these different personalities. So that's super exciting. I'm really excited to read this one. Okay, I'm gonna stop for now and I will see you guys probably either later or another day to finish the rest of my stack. Okay, today is a new day. So I'm gonna keep going on with reading one chapter of each book. So I'm gonna start out with Never Let You Go. This is by Chevy Stevens and I've read quite a decent amount of Chevy Stevens books. Most of them have been misses, but I do enjoy the writing style. So we'll see if the first chapter makes me want to keep this or unhaul it since most of the time it seems like I don't give her books that high of a rating. Okay, I'm actually going to keep this book. The first chapter was really good. It's about um, this guy who's abusive towards his wife and the whole scene is that I guess someone like brushes her hand and he gets upset with her. I think he drinks too much and um, makes it as if she's like cheating on him and so then he like punishes her by when she gets up and like goes to the bathroom, they're like at the beach. Um, he takes the daughter and like goes to get drinks but they let this floaty um, like go out in the ocean, which is like her floaty. So when the mom comes back, she thinks that her daughter like went missing in the ocean and becomes really frantic. And then her husband comes back and like makes everyone think that she's crazy. Um, and was like, oh, what are you talking about? Like we just went to get drinks, but it was kind of like a test or like a punishment for her. So that seems super intriguing. It does seem to say that it's gonna be like a back and forth um, because from the back, um, it talks about how she escapes with her young daughter, leaving the abusive relationship, and then I guess her husband is sent to jail. And then later it fast forwards to when her and then her daughter is a teenager at that time. So I hope that I still like it when it does do the back and forth, but it seems like Chevy Stevens books do that a lot. She does this like past and then future uh, back and forth, but it might even be a really good audiobook to listen to, so I am gonna keep this one. Okay, next up, I'm going to read the first chapter of The New Husband by DJ Palmer. I have read a few books now by DJ Palmer, actually. I've read all, but this one, I believe, um, and I actually read just the most recent release, and it was just okay. This, I think, was the release from 2020, 
so two years ago so i've already read two books since then that were released but we'll see how this is i think it might just be kind of a normal domestic thriller so this might be an unhaul for me okay i didn't even get a full two chapters in and i am bored and don't care so this is going to be an unhaul um i'm probably i think it's an arc yeah so i'm probably going to leave it in a little free library um because that's like the best place i feel like to get rid of like older arcs and that way people can still read them okay next up i'm gonna read the first chapter of pet cemetery i am surprised i haven't read this yet it's been on my shelf for a while and a lot of other people really love this book i think i tried watching the new movie and i got bored but it might have been just because i didn't understand it like i didn't even watch the full thing so we're gonna try out the first chapter and we're gonna hope that i like it i'm usually really like most of stephen king's are just misses for me okay i read chapter one which actually wasn't very long so i didn't learn that much about it but i think that i would be able to read this book and since i didn't hate it i feel like i just need to read it for the sake of saying that i've read it so i'm going to save this one and it better be good like if i put myself through that you guys better not have lied to me and it better be worth it okay next up is survivor so many people have talked about this and this one i haven't had on my shelf that long i got it like a few months ago i actually won it because i won like a team challenge in my book club and i hear that this one is like really gory um we'll see how the first whoa this like font is like it's like very close together um but we'll see how this is how long is the first Okay, the first chapter isn't too, too long. And it seems like it's not that long of a book either. It's like 280 pages, so let's see how this goes. Whoa, this, okay, I didn't even read the first chapter. There was a prologue that I read, which was probably about three or four pages. My mind is blown. And I'm not even gonna say what happens because I feel like that was just really good for me to go in like blind without knowing anything definitely keeping this one i can't wait to read this one this is definitely a dark and disturbing book and it is not for the faint at heart let me tell you okay next up i have jp delaney's believe me um i actually just dnf'd a jp delaney book but i have enjoyed other jp delaney books playing nice is on my favorite shelf um, i'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about this one but a lot of people do rave about this one a lot and it looks like it has a lot of like kind of blankish pages so it's not even as big as you really think it is um like look at all of that so let's read the first chapter of this and see how this one goes so i read the first chapter and there was like a little prologue for believe me now i am going to keep this book and read it but the um writing like all of the writing is like this when it's um the man and the woman talking so this lady it's like her job to kind of like bust these men who are cheating on their wives um and so she, they're like in an airport and she like makes conversation with this guy rick who eventually is like gonna pay her for sexual acts but like she's not actually doing them it was like I guess the wife hired her or that's what she does for a living um but this was really irritating to read like me rick me rick me rick but i pulled up the audiobook from libby and it is um two different narrators it's a guy and a girl so i think it would be much better listening to this book than reading it um but it did seem pretty intriguing so i think i will keep it at the moment but if i'm only going to listen to the audiobook i kind of feel like unhauling this and just kind of you know listening to it later in life i don't know i'm not sure i guess i'll put this on the keep for now it's time for me to try out a little life i'm really scared about this one because it's very very huge and it is very character driven i've heard I don't even know like does this have chapters and how long is the first chapter that's a long chapter i'm not gonna read that whole thing i'm just gonna try it out we're gonna see i read 10 pages i really i just don't know what to do about this book because it wasn't 
terrible, but it's so long. But I even looked up on Goodreads and it has such a high rating and everyone just talks about like, there's some people that were like, I wish I never read this book, like it messed me up. Or like just some people are like, this is the most disturbing book ever. It's so like depressing. And I kind of really want to read it because of those things. But I just feel like this is definitely a challenge to read this book. So I honestly feel like keeping it, but not even putting the pressure on myself to read this to finish my reading to zero challenge. Like I kind of just wanna put it on my shelf and someday get to it, if that makes sense. I don't know. I was thinking about bringing it to the beach or maybe it would work really well with the audiobook. It's just like so huge. It's literally 814 pages. And right now I just don't feel like putting in that time to read. I mean, this is like, what, three books worth, literally? Um, and I don't wanna like push myself and then not enjoy it because I'm making myself read it. I'm gonna keep it but I honestly think I'm just not even going to include it in like finishing this challenge because I still don't know if I'm gonna like it because I might even get like 100 pages in and just be like, nope, someone just tell me what happened. <laughs> it's a really nice floppy paperback though. I also really love that about it. Okay, next up, Alifar Burke's The Wife. Um, it says, this year's Gone Girl, so we will see how this is. I've actually never read a book by this author, so this will be my first time. Okay, I'm gonna unhaul. So far, it was just about um, a woman going missing and um, the police come up to the wife and they're like, oh, this lady's missing. We think your husband did it. It just seems very much like a regular domestic thriller and I can always pick it up at the library if I do wanna read it in the future, but for now, it didn't bring anything new to the table and it didn't like really stick out to me with the books that I am saving. So skipping that one. Okay, I do have um, Just Married by Kirsten Modglin. I actually just got this book a few months ago, um, but it is so small. I, I, I don't even think I'm gonna read the first chapter. I'm just gonna keep it because it's Kirsten Modglin. Like I'm gonna read it. It's 200 pages, so we're gonna keep that. Next up is The Mother's Mistake by Ruth Heald. Um, I think this is an Amazon author, so let's see how this first chapter is. There's so many of these that have like a prologue and then the first chapter, so I've been reading obviously the prologue and the first chapter on most of them. Okay, I read the prologue and chapter one of this one. I'm gonna unhaul it. It um, kind of reminds me a little bit of the push because it's about a mom struggling to bond with her baby. Um, and the prologue, it seemed as if like there was this little girl that like drowned in the river and I don't know if that's talking about this mom and this baby or not. Um, that's one pet peeve that I have with prologues is like, it never means anything to me because you don't know anything about the story. And then I never remember that there even was a prologue like later when you would understand it. Um, but it didn't seem to bring anything new to the table. I'm gonna unhaul it. Next up, we have Stranger in the Lake by Kimberly Bell. Not sure how I feel about this one, um, we're gonna see, but I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna unhaul it because of the fact that I've read other Kimberly Bells and I think they were all just kind of like so-so or not my favorite. I think The Marriage Lie I liked until the end or I only liked the end and then Dear Wife I didn't like at all, but a lot of her books have just been like regular domestic thrillers and I feel like I just have so many domestic thrillers sometimes that don't bring anything new to the table. It's just kind of like recycled and I really wanted to stick with books that, you know, are doing new crazy things that I'm gonna be excited to read. Okay, chapter one was actually pretty short, but like I thought, I'm going to unhaul it. Um, I guess it's about this lady who is got married to one of the rich widowers, widower, right? Yeah, um, from a small town and everyone thinks that that's like suspicious because his first wife died. Don't really care. Next up, we have Dread Nation. This is a young adult apocalyptic book, I believe. 
but I have not had very good experiences with young adult books recently. So we will see how this goes. Okay, this is gonna be an unhaul. Um, I guess I didn't realize that it's set kind of back during like Civil War times, even though it's like the, and I should have realized it, it says, Battlefields of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, derailing the war between the states and changing the nation forever. I don't care about any of that. So, bye bye. Okay, next up, I'm gonna try Cultish. I am not sure about this because I love cult books, but I've actually heard a lot of people say that this wasn't as great as they expected it to be. But I think that they thought that during like the second half. This also might be a really good book just to listen to on audio. Um, but let's go ahead and start this out. Okay, I'm gonna keep this book. The first uh, chapter is talking about CrossFit and how like CrossFit is a cult. And I think that it will go into, I think it dives into other brands. Um, I recently watched like a documentary about like Abercrombie and Fitch and like Lululemon and stuff, or LuLaRoe, Lu LuLaRoe, I think it was. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one and I think I'm, I'll try and listen to it on audiobook if I can. I think it would be a little bit easier to listen to it, um, but that one might still be a good one. All right, we only have two books left. I'm trying to get this done before work. Um, so The Marriage Pact, we're gonna go ahead and read the first chapter of this one. Okay, this one didn't have a whole bunch within the first chapter, but I really enjoyed the writing style of it and it's about this husband and wife that I guess are part of this pact. So I think that they're kind of stuck in some type of cult or commune thing. Um, it is a fairly large book, but I think I'm definitely gonna keep it and try it out, especially cause I've heard a lot of people say that it did blow their mind. So we're gonna keep this one. Okay. Lastly, Claire McIntosh's Hostage. I'm not sure about this one. I do believe it is British and I am not good with British books and understanding the lingo behind it. Um, it's also an airplane book, which I did unhaul the other one I had before the fall and I didn't like falling. I rated that one like two stars. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm actually gonna unhaul this one. I am just not in the mood for another airplane terrorist kind of book, um, especially after falling. And the first chapter just wasn't thrilling to me. It was kind of boring. And so maybe I would pick this up from like the library in the future, but at the moment, I don't feel like reading this anytime soon. So this is going to be an unhaul. Okay, so giving it a look, these are the books that I unhauled. These were the ones that I unhauled yesterday. And then these ones are the ones that I unhauled today. So I think that that looks great. Oh, and a really quick note, I am putting my unhauls in my Pango bookstore. I'll link it down below. So if they're still there when you see this video, you might be able to purchase them. And then down here are the ones that I'm keeping and I'm going to read um, in the next month or two. So these are all the ones that I decided to keep. Um, the autumn one and the call me Tuesday one, I didn't do a try a chapter because I'm actually already like part of the way through those. Um, but I'm really excited because every single one of these I read really pulled me in and now I know kind of the basics of like what they're about and it makes me want to read them even more. So I think that was a really, really good idea for me to do the try a chapter to really just fine tune everything. And now I'm super excited about what I'm gonna pick up next because some of these were like, whoa, I need to like continue reading them. They were that good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye. Everybody.